Hello, good morning, happy Saturday. Uh, it has been, it's been a while since we, uh, we coded in a project. Uh, I, um, I only have about an hour today. I have to uh, jump off the stream in, uh, let's see, nine o'clock in the morning here. That's just basically an hour and one minute. So uh, I don't know if we're gonna get that far into it or if we're gonna spend most of it just trying to figure out what we were doing before. Uh, things aren't compiling, so that's, a, um, that's something. Uh, comparison operators cannot be chained. Okay, so this is in course articles line 43. Let's see if we can find course articles. Um, now you're saying the state vec article new cannot be chained. Now this is this is that line. That's just text. Huh. Um, okay, so. What was I doing here? Well, clearly there's an error. Uh, let's see what this error says. HTML not expanded? Okay. No, pro, no procedural macros here. Uh, we have a use prelude, so that it should definitely be here. I uh, wonder if it's something else. Oh, these are only things that we see in this, in here. Okay, so what was happening was compiling the LMS, not compiling YCL. Course articles, okay, so, so source pages, course articles. So is it my, do I have a use state here? Oh, I wonder if it's this use async thing. Okay, so I think what we're needing to do is move away from use async. Okay, right, so what are we doing here? Um, on this page, I want to list the articles. Oh, when we go straight there, if we don't go straight there, we don't exist yet. That's fine. I think. So I think we need a use, use effect. Oh, it can't, okay. We have this use effect once, but I don't think this can be use effect once. I think this is gonna have to be a full use effect. That's gonna happen every single time. And then I need to know whether or not we have the data in it so I need to know whether or not this is run. And, uh, oh, if so, okay. If we're logged in and we are, if we're logged in, okay. So let's, uh, let's grab that here. So we have our auth state. Now here we're attempting to grab the token out. I think what we can do is take this, throw you in here. If we have, okay, so we get the token out of here. Once we have you, then we check to see if you're, oh, I see. The problem, the problem is that when I, when I spin this up, the token doesn't exist. So we literally cannot use the use state yet because the token 
may not exist yet. I would need to do it at a different time. Okay, so that, that makes sense. So we cannot do this. Uh, so instead, what we have to do, we have to use effect. We have to find when we have articles and all that stuff. Do we have, um, what do we have in the store? So we have alerts, auth store, courses store. Do we have articles in here? We don't have articles. We have courses, we have tags. I wonder if I should have articles as a separate store. I, we, I might wanna do that. Let's actually create a courses as a set, sorry, articles as a separate store. Okay, fetch, articles. Oh, you can't find it? Permission denied. Uh oh. Oh, I okay. It's this it's this weird problem where uh Zellage opens up, I I tell it to go to a default directory, it opens up the directory and then isn't what I what I expect it to be. Also the name got got reset. Let's reset that. One. Uh, rename and this is the honest. Um, okay, so what do I want here? I want um, <coughs> excuse me. All right, let's try this again. All right, control X doesn't work because it's still waiting for it to load up everything. Ah, there it goes. There we go. Okay, so now we can have a pub struct. Uh, we'll call this an article store. Now, what are we gonna throw in here? I think, um, I think based upon like what I'm, what I'm learning, I don't really like, I don't really like the idea of having the like just passing around the um, uh, what is it called the 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 response data from GraphQL. So I think I'm gonna have to like create a type here, uh, for that. Now for the article itself. What are we getting? Not not very much back that we can get. Let's take a look at, oh, you know what would be better is actually look in here. Oh, I can split right, right? Or I can split down, I can, I can do one of those. Uh, how do I split? Swap the spit right. I want to split. Vertical right split. Okay, so that is control W V. Or control W control V. Well, either way, that gives me this. So here I can then head over to uh, where am I going? I'm going to go to the 
Oh, I want the queries. So I want the database queries. Get the article titles. That's what I want. So this is the article titles that I'm caring about right now, which means we not not may not have everything. Okay, so then to jump over to the left one, we're going to do not move left, swap no jump to left to so control W left. Okay, so control W left. There we go. Oh, control W is a window thing. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, so I want a pub struct. I want an article. This is gonna be a singular article. And uh, so we're gonna have a created at. That could be a, I think we'll just go with the string right now. Pub ID is gonna be an I64. And a title is gonna be a string. Um, kind of like the idea, can I, okay, is there, is there a shift, uh, that would be really cool, there's not, okay, so I have to do the, um, select, no, select all, delete, paste. Okay, so if I, if I do that, and that's all I'm getting right now, then our articles, so, will be a vector of article. All right, I think there are some derived things we have to do. Uh, we have to drive a store. Yeah, we have to drive a store. Uh, we have to drive default. Not sure what else we need to drive. Uh, you need. That works. What are you upset about? Uh, oh, partial equal. And if partial equals here, then it needs to be elsewhere too. So let's select default. Okay, I think that's happy. So now that we've created that, let's head we're going to need okay we're going to need to convert this into the store article so i really want it to return this article this is the type that i want it to return you know i i'm never really sure in in projects where i have like a boundary type that sort of like is going between different things like where to put that who owns that right now the store is going to own that but uh it's also going to be needed to be owned by the api so we need to head over to api get the articles and in get article titles we're going to return not this but article uh it's really not going to be an article it's going to be a vec of article. All right, so you're going to be upset. Now we go all the way to the end. And so we get so this is the response. Yes, I know. Uh, I'm going to throw a to do in here. Okay, you're upset. Um, type inside async function body must be known in this context. Okay, so, oh, right. So the, the JSON, when we, oh, 
the send. When we tell it, okay, so when we tell send, it needs to know what the type is because it takes in that R to convert it. And it was fine otherwise because it didn't know what to do with it, but uh, I need to convert it over. So you need to be This is going to be the get almost article titles response data. So now I have a result with the response data. I now want to I guess we could question mark this. That gives me the variables. No, sorry. That gives me the response data and I want to convert that into something. I want to convert that into a vector of articles. I wonder if this is where I want to take the get LMS article titles and I want to implement like a from for it. That might that might make sense. So if I over here. Uh, let's head into stores articles. I don't think I can do it to one of these, can I? It would be for for the entire one. So instead of maybe an impool, we have like a pub function. Can I impl off of the article store? Maybe I can do that instead. So impl from, and I want this to be the get LMS articles, article titles. Okay, so if I have this data for article store, Okay, so function from, we have the value, which is the get LMS article titles response data. We turn that into a self. Okay, so I want to now take our value. Uh, we have LMS articles. What is LMS articles? Okay, that's our that's a vector. So oh no, no, no. Now I have ownership of this and I'm consuming it. So I can do an into iter. Uh, we're going to map you. Uh, we're gonna have a I guess like this is gonna be a um a DB article. Okay, so that gives me that. Now I want to turn this into an article down below. So I want to do article. All right, so we're going to have an ID and it's going to be a DB article dot ID. I suppose I could do an impul for this one too. That might That might work. Uh, created at is going to be db article dot created at
Okay, I do that. That comes down to here. We have this value. I want to turn this into a self. So let's actually do let articles equal that. We collect you, and then we're going to turn a self articles. And then the collect should figure out what its type is going to be. Okay, so then if I do that, we come back over here and we say, hey, I want to do that. Now let's take the response and we're going to into it. Uh, oh, but it does have to be an okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't do that right. Go on. Go to the very end. Um then match surround that. Oh, nope. Match surround um that. The trait bound vec article Oh, it's not returning. Okay, so it's returning. It's not returning the right thing. Uh, it's returning the article store. Oh, maybe we should just say, hey, you're going to return an article store. That might make more sense. Okay, so we do that. Now we have the article store. So now, uh, now that we have you, let's head back to our pages. Uh, this is course articles. All right, what what do I have going on here again? Okay, so we have our auth state. We need that to know if we have the token. We can't really do anything until we have a token. Uh, so I'm I'm attempting to take the token out of here, which is I don't think good idea. So we're going to x out of you. I'm going to throw you into the use effects. in here uh use state for the article titles i don't think we need to use state for this i think we need to use store for this Okay, so I get the article store. Now this is the use async and we're not, we can't use that. That's fine. Uh, then we have this use effect once, we need to change that too. So we have, um, we don't need you. We do a full use effect and then, okay, so down here. We get the token out. I guess the first thing is, if we're if we're loading, we don't want to do anything, and it's just time to time to leave, and we're, we're done. So, we might have a few early returns here, which is going to be interesting. So let's do uh, let um, let our uh, Result equal to just an empty okay. 
We don't need you. So first off, if we're still in a loading state, I don't want to lo load anything in here. So this is going to be if. So I need our auth state. If our auth state dot loading, if this is true, why is this a different line? I want you to be a different line. Okay. If you're in a loading state, I just wanted to return early. So we're going to do, oh, oh, not whatever that was. Uh, we're going to return result. Okay, great. Now, we're not in a loading state, so we've loaded, and we want to check to see if we're a, if, um, if not, auth state is author. Okay, so if we're not an author, then we need to set an error. Okay, so we need the error store. So we need the um, alert store. I don't actually care about that one. This is the alert store. Dispatch. Okay, so then we're going to move that in here and we're going to use that here. So if we're not an author, we're going to use the alert dispatch, reduce mute. And our error is going to be, um, you must be an author to assign uh, articles to courses. Okay. So I create that. Um, so we, we dispatch that. And then I also want to get the navigation. And then we're going to return us home. Isn't there a use navigator? There it is. Okay. I was I was getting I was getting confused. All right, so that should be pretty safe to unwrap. Uh we get the navigator that's gonna move in here, and now we get to say, hey, there was a problem. So our navigator, uh, we're going to push. That's going to be a reference to a route. Uh, let's go home. And then, and then we're done. So we then also return result. Nothing else, nothing else happens here. Okay. So by this point in time, We've potentially refreshed a couple times, right? So the first time we hit the use effect, auth state is still in the loading state. So we haven't loaded. We don't know if we're logged in yet. So therefore, we're in a, yeah, we're, we're this. Then we load the second time and, oh, we're not an author. Okay, well then alert, like alert, error, you need to be an author. Go back home. Get, get out, get out of here. Then... If we get to this point, we know we're logged in. We know we are an author. We have to have a token. Um, if we don't have a token, something seriously went wrong. Uh, but I think we should be fairly okay with this because if I unwrap our default, it's going to be like a bearer and then an empty string. And then that, that should cause just like a generic 
It should cause a uh, authentication error. But we should be fine. Also, this should only ever be me who gets this error. Okay, so I, I get the token there. So now it's time for me to make the request, which means we need a uh, wasmbind gen features. Um, okay, so we need to make we need to make the call. So this is going to be the articles equals. Actually, we need to match it, don't we? We need to match our API articles. Get the article titles. Now I need to pass in the token, which is going to be a full string. So we take that in, and we're going to await you. And now we have, I'm, I'm surprised I don't get, I have to go find it. I'm surprised it doesn't have like, okay and not okay here. Uh, we have okay, and that's going to give me the article store. So we can call this the articles. And we'll deal with that. And of course we get the error. We have an error and we have to deal with that. We probably want to deal with that with one first. So if there was an error getting the articles, I want to know what that error is and then I want to print it out. So we can just log the error right away. So we can do error uh, getting article titles. Okay. And once we do that, I want to alert store this. So I use the alert dispatch. I don't actually know if I consume it with the reduce mute. I don't, I don't think that I do, but I might, I might have. Oh, I can't type this. I only like type. Oh, I can kind of type that. Okay. So I wonder if I need to clone this here. Let's clone you. It should be pretty cheap to clone anyways. Now, this is the move into here. And I'm taking it directly from here and using you. So I believe I need to I I believe I need to clone into like a uh I may not need to. I don't It's like a double jump is 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 not usually allowed. So I, I usually need, need to do something like uh this is what the alert Uh, this is the alert. Oh, come on. You don't. This is the alert dispatch. So I need to clone it out here. Just to make sure I really have it. So it's not. It's like. It's not moving there, so then that way it gets into here, and now I can use it. So we'll do alert, dispatch, reduce mute. Uh, I want. I don't actually think I need the thing on the left anymore. I think I'm. I think I'm okay there. So let's come over here and. Now, if I quit, are you quitting everything? No, just that window. Perfect. Okay, so so this is the alert uh, 
state. Okay, so this was error getting the article titles. And then I'm done there. Okay, so you're good. Now, if we get these article store, I can now set what this is. But we have to do the same thing. So we have this article store here. Uh, I am not using it anywhere else. And so we move it in here, but then there's another move up here. So we have to do. Uh, it would be nice if I spelled that correctly. I mean, if I'm going to shadow it, shadow it properly, right? Okay, so that moves into here. So now the article store I have access to. So in OK, we say article store. We would, uh, I don't want the store. I wanted the dispatch. Okay, so then I can reduce mute. We have the article state. And then here we can do the same thing we did before. We just set it. So the article state is now going to be equal to these articles. That's it. Clone is not satisfied. Oh, okay. So for the store, we need a clone. Uh, so store. Articles. Uh, well, if we clone here, then I need clone everywhere else. That's fine. Let's do partial. Oh, nope, didn't want to do that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so if I do that, I want to go to the end of the world. After that, oh. this is still in. Right, okay, so you now have equal to the this thing. Okay, so then then you're set up. Okay, so you should be you should be fine. This is all good and done now. Now what what are you? Um article assigned article okay, so assigned article titles. Uh you stayed a vec of article titles, so I wonder if this could be a full article now that we consider it. So if I if I change you to be an article, throw you in there. All articles on click. Okay, article titles. What are what are you for? You're for this callback from move ID. Uh, right, so when we click the button, I get the ID back. Okay, you're upset. Cannot find articles style stayed. Okay, yes. Yeah. So now, now we have, now we have this entire thing. So we, we're not gonna have this loading anymore. 
So I can get rid of you. Uh, we can get rid of you and you. Let's, um, okay, so article state. So if we have the data, I want to go over here. But now the article titles was supposed to be the response data. On a button list, oh, extract, oh, right, right. We have these extract article titles down here, which takes those and turns this into a button list item. But I think this is gonna be a little bit simpler. So if I, I say that you are getting the, uh, basically a reference that's, I'm gonna say that you're gonna get a reference to an array slice of, this would be articles or article. You, uh, we don't need this thing anymore. You iterate through there, you map it. And then from there we get, get the thing, right? So I think, I think you're happy here and then you have to make sure you get the right thing. Okay, so if let's, um, oh, I don't think we need this anymore. Okay, so we have our HTML. Oh, so if we have HTML like this, then I don't think we need that anymore, or that anymore. And this is at that same level. Okay, so we have our button list items. Okay, so extract the article title. So article titles, so this probably needs to change. You need to be, uh, this is gonna be a reference. So we need a reference of the article store. Dot articles. Private field. Well, that's a problem. Uh, store articles. Yeah, that should not be a private field. Okay. Are you happy? Um, what's happened since then? Okay, so. Line 68. Oh yeah, okay, so we have this thing. Something, something cannot be chained. So. Huh, comparison article, so comparison operators cannot be chained. Why, why are you trying to do that? Um. Tech support, hello. Oh, your first time you're seeing Zellage and Helix in the wild? I know that a bunch of other streamers took a look at Helix. Uh, am I the only one that stuck around with it? That uh, That's still using it? I've, conv I've convinced some people in like the real world to, uh, to, use, to use Zellage, or at least give it a shot. So I'm, I'm excited about that too. There's still some things that are like a little bit odd, but um, so far, so far it's been great. And they've, uh, they just had an update and I haven't updated to it yet. So that'll probably happen on Monday. Uh, 
Um, so far, I'm enjoying. Uh, how, do you use um, Zellage? Do you use uh, uh, Helix? Okay, so this is that article. Why are you used to handle bull? Um, hello, stacking. Uh, the uh, the inline hints are bay. Yes, is that is that how I'm supposed to pronounce it? I I only ever see it typed out. I don't actually know if I've ever heard anybody pronounce that, or if I have, I've forgotten it. Helix was really impressive. It'll take a while before you can unlearn half a decade's worth of custom NeoVim keybinds. We don't think something could be. Uh, you didn't think that something could be that nice out of the box. Yeah, I'm really excited about a competition for Vim. Like NeoVim came out and was starting to compete, but it was really competing with the same exact feature set. So it wasn't really like competing for like new features uh, in, in my in my like opinion. Um, but now Helix has come out and said, why do we need to do all this setup? Why, why do we need all that stuff? How about it? just works like VS Code. And I, I think it's sort of like a, huh, you mean CLI doesn't have to be like a thousand line config file? Of course, we're gonna get to that point eventually and we'll have a thousand line config file. Um, okay, perfect, thank you, Stacking. Once Helix has their whole scheme-based plugin system, you'll happily switch. Like so far, it's been better for me than NeoVim. Um, like that being said, I didn't like really, really customize NeoVim to like the point where it could have been like absolutely amazing. But like that's the kind of that's the kind of person I am these days. Like I used to love going through every single possible customization and and doing it. Nowadays, I'm just like eh, whatever. Like bare minimum, let's just let's just go. I want to build something. Uh, and so, and so I don't have the patience for it as when I, I don't have the same patience that I had when I was young. I read a lot of TypeScript for, so VS Code with Vim binds is still marginally better. So you end up using it most of the time. Okay. Yeah. I used, uh, I, I, every once in a while we, we jump into TypeScript here for the testing library that we're using. It seems to work generally. Um, I, I don't. I don't remember specific problems that I have with it, but I'm not using it like in a large project. It's basically just a bunch of small, small things. So that's, it, it's fine. All right. Why are you, so comparison operators cannot be changed. Oh, oh, wait. instead of blah, 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 to specify light. Am I supposed to just do that? Is that what I forgot? That's what I forgot. Oh, weird. That is a weird error message. So if I forget that, comparison operators cannot be chained. And then that's what it's really trying to tell me. Uh, the error over here is comparison operators cannot be changed. The error over here also gives me the what I'm supposed to do for it. That's interesting. Okay, and that works. So that's that's happening. Let's see if this is working. So let's go ahead and log in. Of course. All right, so we're logged in as an author, as our author. Uh, I don't want to create an article. I want to go to courses. Let's go to Axum course articles. Okay. And they all show up. And now if I hit refresh, yeah, they still all show up. So perfect. That's that's what we wanted to see. In a large TypeScript project, every editor comes scree to a screeching halt. So it doesn't really matter at that point. Oh no, that's not good. 
That is not good. I have not tried to load up some of the really big Rust projects, so I don't know about that. Uh, this is... I mean, I, I haven't used Helix with any of the other Rust projects that I've had, just with this one. So technically, this is the largest Rust project that I've tried with Helix. And so far, it hasn't like, had any slowdowns compared to when we first started with it. All right, so when I click on this, I want that to show up over there. Uh, I also want to see in the console. Okay, article clicked with ID RC1, RC2, RC3, RC4. Okay, so I'm able to see which of these I've clicked. So now what I, what I want to do is have it come over here and uh, move over into assigned. Uh, and I want to see, I want to say that that's, that's where we got with our testing, but let's, uh, let's verify real quickly. We're using Playwright for testing, and so we're in courses, uh, author, add courses, add articles to a course. Okay, so failed here. Uh, what are you waiting for? Okay, so so many route fulfills. Okay, so go to courses. I uh, get by okay, so get the course, get get this because we're an author, get the first article, yeah, the tasty wooden sausages. Wooden sausage like okay. Uh and expect to be visible. Um, first article. So now I expect this to be over here on, on the left hand side. So my thought is I have this. I have this uh, assigned article. I have this assigned article title state, and this has um, an empty vector of courses in here. So it's just empty right now, and I could potentially use this. I could potentially use this from the store later, but for right now, this is what we're getting. So we, we start with nothing, and then I want to click on the right hand thing. And then it moves into there. And so I get this attribute value. And so I'm logging that out. So I have the ID. Okay. So if we have that, I want to grab the articles with this ID and put it inside of here. So. I'm going to need to convert this into an I-64. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing I think that we need to do, is convert this into an I-64. So uh, it should be that way. I wonder if I, I think you are a string, aren't you? Um, let, so if I try to shadow this, I say ID dot, to what can I do? That's definitely a string. To string, oh, can I do an as? Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, how about a parse? So let's do a two string. A two string. Uh, and let's parse. 
this into an I-64. And let's see if that works. I mean, it compiled, so clearly awesome, right? Uh, it's so nice now having it where these show up and I don't have to like go back and like come back into this page. So, okay, so that works. So these are indeed all numbers, which like they have to be numbers because we're getting them as ID numbers from the database. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so then if we have the ID as a number now, Oh, interesting that that's a result. So I want to not do that. I want to uh, unwrap. So we have the I64. I now need to find this in the articles, which makes me wonder if I should have, I should have a method attached to the store, shouldn't I? So if I go stores, articles, yeah, so let's say I, let's say I want to get a reference to that specific article, or I can get a clone of it. I think I need a clone of it anyways. So let's do uh, impl article store. So I want um, clone by ID, just so that it's obvious of what I'm doing. Uh, this will take in a, I guess this could take in a cell, this is gonna take in a reference to a self, and it's gonna take an ID, which is an I64, uh, and we're gonna return, I guess it has to be an option because it may not exist, and then it's going to be a brand new article. All right, so if I want to find that, what's the best way that I can do this? I have a vector, so I can use find maybe. So I can do self dot articles dot find. Uh, do I have to iter that? Have to iter probably. Oh yeah, okay, find. Ooh, if I try find. Oh, find already returns an option. Okay, so I want that. So I find, uh, we're gonna get use. This is now gonna be a single article. I want to return if the article.id equal to the ID here, uh, which means, okay. And then that returns you. So I think that should work, right? Mismatch types, expected, option, article, oh, right. So then at the end of all this, I want to clone you. No, I, okay, so I need the internal thing and clone that. So uh, I need to like, as, no, so I don't, um, I don't have, I have an option with a reference inside. I want that. So hold on, let's do let um, result equals to that, semicolon u. So that gives me an option with a reference to an article inside. I want to convert, okay, so I want to clone the insides of this. So I want the result dot, now to owned, I don't want to, I don't think I need that. 
I don't want to necessarily unwrap. Oh, we can map it. We can map it. So map this. We get our we get our article, and I just want to do an article. I mean, maybe maybe spell it correctly. Article dot Okay, so that's all I need to do. And I can one line this by not doing whatever that was. Okay, so if I delete you, we return you, delete you, and I just do that. Okay, so now we have clone by ID here. So we're gonna head back to pages, course articles. Wait, is there also cloned? Oh, I didn't I didn't pay attention. Let's let's go take a look at that. Um store articles. Also, hello, uh hero heroic um cash clan cash can can? Hello. Oh, and it's nine o'clock already. Oh jeez. Um let's see if we can get this working and moving over to the left hand side, and, and then we'll have to then we'll have to end. Uh, okay, so clone by ID. Okay, so we we oh wait, we're gonna do clunk. So instead of article dot clone, what's the what's the clone do? If I do dot cloned maps. Oh, that is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So much better. Perfect. Excellent. So let's head back to pages courses. It's page course articles. So I need to get that out. So we have the article store here. I don't have I used it at all yet? I've used it down here. And I don't know if I've okay, let's just uh reassign it here. So that article store equals article store will clone you. Not not that. No. Stop. Stop adding parentheses. Clone you. Okay. Yeah, fat fingering the um the open parentheses causes all sorts of fun. But that's with every every text editor, so not not that surprising. Okay, so I get that article store. Uh I clone that so I can move that in here. I now want to find the specific article. So we're gonna want to do um let the article that I want is gonna be in the article store dot clone by ID we pass it the ID in and that gives me this option article perfect so if for some reason no just want to delete that if for some reason this article doesn't exist I can't move it in there um, that shouldn't happen but uh, I, I guess I guess it could um, Anything that I learned about programming is things that shouldn't happen tend to a little bit more often than they should. Uh, the impossible happens more often than it shouldn't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, what some some nice way of saying that. Okay, so I have this article here. I want to now push it into here. Uh, there, I don't think it really. Ha I think I need to like just get a clone of that. Get a copy of that. So let the assigned articles the assigned articles equals assigned article titles dot so I need the contents of it so maybe like an as ref uh, and then we clone you oh 
Oh, it's not Azraf. It's um Zraf. Oh. I'm doing I'm doing Vim key bindings. It's not working. Okay. Hold on. Zraf. Uh So give me DRAF. I would clone you. Okay, so now we have a VEC of articles. Now I want to add this article to it. So we're going to say, oh, you're going to have to be mute. Uh, the article, um, signed articles. So signed articles, push. Article I guess I want uh, I want to do this as an if let some call equals article Okay, so send articles push this article don't need to unwrap it we're good to go here and that that should work okay so are you okay, you you rebuilt so if i click that i mean i think it's happening but i don't think we're doing anything with that so then over here on the left we have assigned i need to do this same thing essentially where we have a button list and i put you over here so Extract article titles, and now this is going to be a reference to uh, this is going to be the assigned article titles. Uh, dot, uh, I think I have to like deref reference it, something like that. Um, all articles. Oh, and I don't want you to be an on-click. Although I probably want like an on-click to remove it from that list, but let's not worry about that right now. You are not happy. Um, I need something to go there. Oh, you need some on-click because that's not a... Oh, interesting. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. That. Okay, so I need, I need in here to do something like let... Um, Assigned articles and click. We'll do a callback from you're going to get an uh, a ID, which is an attribute value. And I literally don't do anything with you except stuff you in here. This is assigned articles on click. Okay, you're happy uh, building. So then, all right, let's try this. I was I was kind of hoping that would just work. No errors either. Okay, uh, if no errors here. I was I was really hoping okay so extract article titles the assigned article titles is being passed in uh it might be I guess good for us to console log inside of here so that's um log data so this is articles to oh 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 I know I know I know I know, I know. I know I did something silly. I did something silly. Up here. Ah. I push this into here. I extract it out. I never set it again. So we have to do the assigned article titles. We have to set you to be the assigned articles. There we go. That should do it.
Boom. Now I can add this in a whole bunch of times, which is not exactly what we're going for, but I think this is going to make the test pass. Uh, we have to add more to the test, obviously, but let's try this again. All right, there we go. We expect, okay, so this time it was luxurious metal table that uh, is our article, and now we see it over here. And so the next thing, so uh, I'm a big fan of right before I end to um, update the test so that it fails, and then that will be showing us what we're supposed to do next. So in our end-to-end -end tests, uh, we have courses. Uh, we have expected to find this first article added to the course to be visible. I also want to find it by text, and I won't only want to see one of them. So let's do um, Cresty Neko. Hello. You always do that too. Uh, it's, it is such a good strategy because like the next day, heck, even after lunch or something, it's like, what was I doing again? It's, it's just a trick that I... Uh, I learned in a writing class. If, of all things, it was a creative writing class and they suggested, oh yeah, if you're going to take a break, write half of a sentence uh, and, then, and then go off. And then it's so easier to get right back into the flow uh, right afterwards. It's uh, such a good idea. Okay, so we're going to await, expect. Okay, so I want to... I want to find, okay, so I want to get the page, get by text. Uh, the text is going to be this, um, this thing. This is the article. I think it's the article. Oh, it's articles of zero. So I clicked on the first one. Okay, so we have articles of zero. I expect that so we get that one and then um, can I like have the number of them? The have count. Okay, so to have count one, uh, and also, ooh, like a catch final. Okay, so to have count one, and um, oh yeah, it's it's already visible. We we verified that, and so if we do that, you should be fine. Now let's uh, let's run this again, and now it should fail again because both of them are still there. Startup Builder, hello. Uh, do I use Azure DevOps for this project? I do not. So I've never used Azure. I had a student once that had uh, like, I don't know, like 100,000 free credits of Azure. It was, it was something insane. And I, I helped them set, like spin up an Azure instance and like get something going for serving their, their site on it. That, that's the most that I've ever used. And this was years and years and years ago. And I, I remember walking away from that thinking, oh man, the Azure interface for doing anything is somehow worse than AWS. And I was like, I was genuinely surprised by that because AWS is like powerful, but really hard. Perfect. Okay. And so then you are failing because we expected one and we received two. It's overwhelming, yeah. Well, I think that the other big thing was that that was back when Azure was still relatively recent after they got acquired by Microsoft. And so there was, there was two Azure interfaces. And I remember the documentation was saying, oh, if you want to do this for your instance, you have to go to like this, like log into this Azure dashboard. 
And if you want to do this other thing, which like both of them are required for like setting up an instance, you have to go to the new Azure interface. And like they were not looking similar at all. It was terrible. Uh, and I, I, I basically banned Azure for students <laughs> at that point in time because it's like, no, you're not going to like, this is just, you're not going to learn what you need to learn from this. It's just going to be like try, getting confused at like how the interfaces and how that works. Um, so that's, that's what, what I ended up doing. Like these days, it's probably a lot better. Like it's been years now. I mean, if it's not better than something seriously wrong. All right. So, uh, expect to have count. Okay. So we have two of these. We're fine. Everything's good here. And do, do, do. Now I'm not still making network calls, right? Like this is, this is a lot of network calls that's happening. This is probably due to my, this is gonna be due to my um, use effect. So I'm, I'm basically getting stuff too often. So also on Monday, when we come back to this, we're gonna have to update this. but. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take off. Um, I do have, so I'm I'm heading out to go uh, have a brunch with a friend, with some friends, and uh, haven't seen them in like in person in years. So uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do that. Uh, so I will be back on Monday morning. We'll be continuing to work on this. It's possible that I might work on this tomorrow. So if I do on Monday morning, we'll just go over what I what I did and uh, where we are in the project. So with that. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me today. Um, I think uh, we, we actually got something done, which I'm super excited about. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting this feature sort of closed up. So with that, have a great rest of your day and see you next time. Bye.